Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to talk about Stranger Things Season 4. Spoilers for all of Stranger Things in this content. Specifically today, we're going to talk about epic dungeon master Eddie Munson. He is so epic in Stranger Things 4. And we're going to talk about his death, and we're going to talk about three words uh, he says on his deathbed. Uh, well, there isn't a bed on this, on this you know, blood-soaked patch of dirt, right? Um, and so Eddie Munson dies in the hand. So Eddie Munson, the dungeon master, dies in the hands of Dustin Henderson, his Dungeons & Dragons player, right? And he says three, th three words today that I want to talk about. And those three words are, I love you. Eddie Munson says, I love you to Dustin Henderson when he dies, right? Um, and, you know, in, in his uh, deathbed speech, you know, there's, there's a, dead, a bed, but you, you know where I'm going. All right. Uh, so, so first of all, there's so much here. All right. And I just want to talk it through. So what is this? Like, wh why is Eddie Munson saying, I love you to Dustin Henderson, right? And what does that what does that mean for us as dungeon dungeon masters and for us as Dungeons and Dragons players? It means a lot. So I so it is my humble opinion that the Duffer brothers set up a trilateral wrist-based communication system between the Duffer brothers, Netflix, and the D&D design team, okay? Um, and uh, I you could see that explanation for that in the in the second video linked below, right? Um, and it'll explain that, right? But so, with that said, it is my opinion that the Str Stranger Things season four, more than any other, uh, more than any other season, is carrying huge messages from the Duther brothers about what you should think about uh, Dungeons and Dragons and what Dungeons and Dragons means. So, here's what Eddie Munson saying "I love you" to Dustin Henderson means. All right. So, first of all, let's let's break into this. All right. So, what's the relationship between Dustin Henderson? and Eddie Munson. Well, first of all, they, they, Eddie Munson is his epic dungeon master for, in the Hellfire Club. Dustin Henderson is an engaged, dedicated player, unlike Lucas, who like is an unengaged player, a right? Dungeons & Dragons player. So Dustin Henderson's all in on what Eddie Munson is throwing down when it comes to Dungeons & Dragons. But their relationship is Dungeons & Dragons. It's very clear that they don't spend any time outside of Dungeons & Dragons. They spend time at school, and, and but even when they're at school, they're talking about Dungeons & Dragons. So their relationship is Dungeons & Dragons. And guess what? It's less than a year, right? So first of all, listen to what the Duffer Brothers are telling you about Dungeons & Dragons. They're saying that if you play Dungeons & Dragons with somebody for less than a year, and you guys are all in, like, Eddie Munson takes the Dungeon Master seat very seriously. And Dustin Henderson takes the Dungeons and Dragons player seat very serious. Both of them say, this chair, this Dungeon Master's chair, right? I put value in it. The moment I step into it, I'm all in, right? And Dustin Henderson is like, this, this Dungeons and Dragons player's chair, it's worth something. I'm not going to give it up, right? I'm here. I'm going to show up and I'm going to show out, right? And so the two of them are all in. So, But all they have is less than a year of playing Dungeons and Dragons together. But when Eddie Munson dies, he looks at Dustin Henderson and he says, I love you. Right? Now, first of all, let's, let's, let's put this into perspective. This is not romantic love. He's saying, I love you as a human being, right? Not as a romantic partner, right? And now how do we know that? Because um, Stranger Things makes it very clear who loves who romantically, right? Will Byers has an LGBTQ love for Finn Wolfhart. That's made very clear in the show, right? And then uh, Robin has a very clear LGBTQ love for the band girl, right? So this show has no, they're not going to, you know, beat around the bush and like, um, and pretend when they're, you know, and hide an LGBTQ relationship. If there's an LGBTQ relationship in the show, they show it. They, 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 have, they have literally four characters that display that truth, right? So he is saying, uh, you know, I love you as a human being. I love you. And we can. We can love someone as, um, like, let's, uh, 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 here's a perfect example. Tell me if I'm wrong. Han Solo clearly loves Chewbacca, and Chewbacca loves Han Solo. They're not romantic partners, but to say that they're friends, you know, like, they have a deeper relationship to that. Does Han Solo even pay Chewbacca? 
like you know like that is a that is a non-romantic love relationship between two men right like between a wookie and a man <laughs> and that's a beautiful thing i i think you know we are incredibly complex beings right and so the duffer brothers are saying that with less than a year of a relationship um but you all in on dungeons and dragons a few months of play could result in you loving each other are they correct 100 percent, yes right and why well again what are the duffer brothers saying they're saying hey the rest of the world are muggles. We're Dungeons and Dragons players, right? What would happen at a table to make somebody love another person? It's shockingly simple. The pillars happen, right? <clears throat> so Eddie Munson runs Dungeons and Dragons for Dustin Henderson, right? Dungeons and Dragons has the three pillars, right? Equal. The three pillars are equal. Equal parts exploration, equal parts interaction, equal parts combat, right? So Eddie Munson is like, hey, at this table, you combated goblins. Beyond the table, we together combated our human deficiencies, right? At this table, you interacted with a merchant and you interacted with a sorcerer to get a new spell. IRL, we interacted together in high school and made every relationship we had deeper because we know the value of encountering every single character in life. Right? And that in every single aspect of our lives, we interact to make relationships deeper. Right? We, you, in the game, Dustin Henderson, explored the Goblin Warren. Right? And you found out there were glowing stalactites. But in real life, we explored together the city of Hawkins. Right? <clears throat> and we explored the. We explored our own humanity, the humanity of the teachers in the school, the humanity of of people that we could, could possibly be players. You know, our we we made judgments. Do we want to invite them into the game, or we want to keep them out of the game? Right? <coughs> Excuse me. And it's you know the pillars are at the table and beyond the table, and that's how you reach a point of love, right? And that was, you know, and today, if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, there's no, you know, you don't wonder why uh, Eddie Munson said, I love you, right? Like this, you know, this type of strong relationship, which gets to the point of love, non-romantic, is super clear, right? Like we, we play the pillars, we live the pillars. It's, it's what it is, right? It's so shockingly clear, right? So I think any Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition player would not be shocked at all at these words, Right. But I think I think that these words were shocking to the vast majority of muggles who don't play Dungeons and Dragons and just live stunted lives compared to somebody who is connected to Dungeons and Dragons. And if you're connected to Dungeons and Dragons, the Duffer Brothers are saying, "Hey, you know, like if you're a regular person, you're not going to say I love you non to somebody non romantically after seven, eight, nine months of play, you know, uh, of interaction, right?" But a Dungeons and Dragons player, this isn't even a thing. Like, of course, you would grow to love somebody you know, within seven to eight, nine months because you have explored every aspect of humanity, combat, interaction, and exploration, right? And and all the heroicism that's happening at the table doesn't stop at the table, right? And they just, they they exhibited this, you know, so well in, in D&D. Like, when Eddie Munson had a problem, every single one of his players was like, that's our problem. He's our dungeon master. Of course we're going to help him, right? And the Duffer Brothers are saying, like, the saint shoots and ladders, man. Like the, this will bind you. This will bind you. This will make you love the people at the table. This ain't normal, right? Like this, and D and D is not normal. It's not small. It's not what you've been told it is. In my humble opinion, all that's my opinion. What did you think of when? What did what did it make you think of when Eddie Munson said? I love you to Dustin Henderson. And Dustin Henderson said back, I love you, man. Like, what were your thoughts? How did you process that? Uh, it was a like, boy, man, Stranger Things is amazing. Cannot wait for Stranger Things 5. Uh, all that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful morning.